Welcome back to the showground. Folks, my next guest tonight is an Emmy Award winning anchor on Univision and host of a new documentary, Hate Rising. Please welcome Jorge Ramos. <laughs> I do the newscast completely by myself. You don't. You don't have any audience for your newscast. No, this is fantastic. You've got to get an audience for your of newscast. Course. Yeah, they really like the news. They cheer and everything. We'll, we'll start next next year. It would be great. Well, come on. We could do late show Latino. In español, Esteban. Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> don't, don't don't say bad hombre, please. Don't say bad hombre. No. <laughs> Now, let me ask you about that. Let me no. ask you about that. Is it, is it like people were quite surprised he said bad hombre. Is that a bad thing to say? That, Call somebody a bad, bad thing, hombre? But, but it's a stereotype because the. the it just means bad man, right? Yeah, well, but the immigrant community is full of buenos hombres, not bad hombres. No? So yeah. Right. yeah. So he's, he's, we have here running for president, we have a local hombre. Uh, <laughs> you said it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Now, you can't say stuff like that because you're a journalist. You not like, like that. Not can't like say that. that. Um, but I could confront Trump. I mean, when you he said... did, you did confront Trump last uh, year, August fifteenth last year. Uh, you got tossed out of a press conference. What happened? What did you do? Well, what happened is I sent him a handwritten note with my cell phone number, asking for an interview, and then I learned my first lesson, which is you should never ever give your cell phone number to Donald Trump. Uh, did because he announce he, it? He published it on the internet. Yeah, yeah. So I said, okay, Mr. Trump, give me a moment. So um, two months later, I went to Dubuque, Iowa. He had a press conference, and then we had all these questions to ask him. He wants to build a wall. He wants to deport 11 million. So I raised my hand. I asked a question. He didn't like it. He moved his uh, mouth in a strange way. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. Yes? That was, uh, he called his bodyguard, and then he ejected me from a press conference. The only other person who prevented me from asking a question with a bodyguard was Fidel Castro a few years before. Oh. It's a true story. Any similar? Do you feel any similarities between the two of them? Well, um, yes, of course. They, well, they don't like the press. Yeah. They, um, they use a bodyguard to throw you out of places. <laughs> yeah, any, was, there more... any, was there any relief, like, oh, I get to leave the press conference? Was there any? Well, not because after that he realized that he had made a mistake, and then he allowed me to, to go back. And then we started asking... Uh, we have a back and forth on all the things that he wanted to do. He wants to deport 11 million people. That's, that's absolutely uh, insane. That's a horror. C can you imagine that's deporting 11 million in two years? That's deporting 15,000 people every single day, filling up 37, 47s in, in 24 hours. He can start a new airline with that. I mean, he tried Trump, that once. It didn't work out for him. Well, this one would be Trump Airlines will send you back, no? <laughs> Well, um, uh, do you think Trump is uh, an anomaly with uh, what many are calling racist language that he uses, or do you think he's just the expression of something that is already existent in our culture? Well, I think it exists right now, but he has allowed white supremacist groups and neo-Nazis to express opinions and prejudices that before they were only saying to themselves in their parties or in their bedrooms. Now it's outside. It's all over the place. Well, your, your, your new uh, documentary is called Hate Rising, uh, and we have a clip here of you talking to, I believe, a member of the Klan. Imperial Wizard, yeah. Jim? White is so much higher than, than any other race. How can you say that? Based on I, what? I just said it. That's how I can say it. Yeah, but based, based on what? Based on, on God. We're God's people. You seen that racism, precisely racism? That's not racism, that's fact. Well, well where, do, you find, where, do you, where does one go to find the Klan? It, just uh, an hour away from um, Dallas Fort Worth. This Rowdy, he just... That's his name, Rowdy? That's his, well, not his real name, but Rowdy. Um, he, he just didn't want to touch me. He told me, as you said, as you saw that, just because he's white and I'm Latino, that he was superior to me. And then on... I hate to tell him, but you, you're whiter than he is. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he's, he's... He doesn't accept that? He's, gonna, he's not no, going to like you, that. No, you, you make Anderson Cooper look suntanned. Well... <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about uh, white supremacists. I also went to Ohio, and uh, there were about 30 neo-Nazis, 
and um, they were burning a, a swastika. And, and right there, I couldn't talk for three hours. They, the producer and the director, they didn't let me talk for three hours. Um, why, why wouldn't well, first of your all, producer wouldn't let you talk? Yeah, because it, it was not safe. First of all, you don't, have, you, oh, oh, you don't make small yeah. talk with white supremacists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you going to ask him, uh, what's your favorite color or what? No. <laughs> I think we know the answer yeah, to know, that one, exactly. That. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then um, I have an accent. Every time I call an 800 number, I get transferred to the wrong extension or yes. disconnected. So you got to push one for English. You know that, right? right. <laughs> yeah. So it was dangerous for, for me to be there and for them to notice that I have an accent. So I didn't want to be transferred to another world wow. uh, after. Stay safe. Yeah, Stay safe. And thank you for being thank here. Thank you so much. Jorge Ramos, Hate Rising, airs this Sunday, October 23rd, on Fusion and Univision. We'll be right back.